Hi everyone! So this is the day 18 of my quarantine distraction videos and welcome to my front porch. It was such a beautiful day in Ohio I thought I would come out here to film my intro. So today's video is a direct follow-up on the video from yesterday when I demoed how to throw enclosed egg forms on the wheel. Today I'm trimming those egg forms and I show how to trim them using what's called a chuck to help hold them upside down so you can trim both ends round and not have a flat bottom. Hopefully you find this information useful. Check out some of the links in my um, video description. I'll link some other videos that might be uh, helpful, maybe somewhat similar, or also my Google Doc, of course, is in there. Um, if you have any comments or suggestion on future videos, just drop those in the comments below. And stay safe, stay healthy, and keep potting if you can. Trimming a form like this egg, the form where it's going to be rounded on the bottom side when we trim it, has uh, quite a bit of challenge to it because how are you going to uh, stick it upside down without it falling over? There are a couple of different ways that I have shown uh, to do this sort of thing in the past. I will link a video in the video description on trimming minis and also trimming a shaker where you can see ways that I do that. But the way that I'm gonna show this is I'm going to be using a chuck to hold it. Now I have a centered piece of clay right, right here and I have shown a method of trimming using a chum and a chum is domed like this. So like when I had the split rim bowls that I recently demoed, I trimmed using a chum. In the case of this though, this is going to be a chuck. So just like a chuck on a drill has, it's an open collar that, that surrounds maybe the drill bit or the chuck on a lathe sort of thing. It's a thing that opens and it surrounds and holds something. So in the case of this, it's open and then it's going to surround and hold it. Now, I'm trying to get the diameter of this relatively close to kind of snug in there and hold this part. Now, you will be placing it in there after you have gotten all the slip off. It's very important that you scrape off the slip because of course if you have slip on there, it's going to want to get stuck. And I'm leaving these walls thick. I like to have a very sturdy chuck. Um, I don't want the chuck to be real thin and flimsy. All right, let me stop this. Now, trying to position it so it's not crooked is gonna be key. So I'm just gonna test it out and realign it so it looks like it's not tilty. Okay, I'm happy with that. And then I just gently kind of press it down in there. And then I do recommend I'm keeping my left fingers on it as much as possible to secure it. If I weren't pushing down with my left fingers um, and it released, it would go flying off the wheel. Oops, like that, see, it just released. So sometimes it will release when you do a chuck. So I, I just have to be prepared to stop and then realign it. I am using grogless clay. This is B mix. So I can take a rib over it without raising any grog. If you had a groggy clay, you would probably want to not scrape as I'm doing here, but just compress. But I'm doing both compression and scraping because I just wanted to smooth out my tool marks a little bit more. Now, I can also take this, flip it the other direction. So if I had any other marks on it, I could get 
get rid of those. It's got maybe a little bit more of a point on there than I wanted. I'll just take off the point just a wee bit. Alrighty, there's an egg. Now, when I allow this to dry, I am going to allow it to dry slowly. Um, I am going to show you a couple of things that I'll do to these though before I allow them to dry firmly. So I'm going to go ahead and trim the rest of these. On the next video, you'll be able to see how I can finish these off for some cool graphic inspired eggs. And because this was loosening up, I decided to add a little water with my finger just to the inside of the chuck and it helped to snug it up a little bit more. And I'm adding water again just to the inside edge of the chuck a little bit every time each egg I'm putting on. It helps it to be a little bit more stable, I found. And these are all leather hard. They're evenly moist. And what I did find was with the very last egg that I had, that one was just a little bit smaller. So my chuck was just a little bit uh, narrow for it. So you'll see on the very last one, I start to trim it and then realize this one right here. I can't quite get down all the way. So I clean the chuck off. I throw it just a little bit skinnier and get the water back off. And then I can continue and finish it.